Okay, so, hi my beautiful baby, how's it going? The sky is beautiful, God bless day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So if you clicked on here, this is the message that you need to hear today. Whether hell or high water, whether you're in your boss's office today or whether you're on the ocean out of your laptop, okay? So this is the message you have to hear today and you've been guided here, so thank you God for all the beautiful messages that come through. I hope you guys is wherever you are in the world, your life is treating you so perfect, so beautiful. We're gonna grab, we're gonna start off with grabbing a message from the Princess Diana Tin because she's the gangster of the UK and she went out swinging, she ain't no bitch, okay? So blesses up Princess Diana. I've always loved her. And I'm just out here trying to be fake, jump on the bandwagon, I, I really seriously have. Okay, um, let's get some beautiful love notes. What do you need to know? Ooh, okay, that one like freaking flew out. Anytime something flies out, that's like your angels have a lot. Your ancestors, God, everybody up there really has a lot to tell you because the tea is boiling hot, okay? The tea is boiling hot and you're fine as fuck. So yeah, they love you. All right, let's see. One card from here. My girl likes to party all the time. Party all the time, party all the time. All right, that's too many. All right, let's get one from this one. Okay. And we'll go over this, you guys. We'll go over this um, right away. Just wanna deal on, I mean, um, shuffle on camera. And if you wanna skip this part, you can definitely skip the part. Like I'll just um, have it down there, linked below, like which, um, Okay. And then one from here. Oh my gosh, I don't know why it's so freaking hot in here. This is crazy. All right, let's get into it now, my love. Let us get into it, okay? I'm very excited, super excited for you. Okay, let's see. What do you need to know today? Collective reading. Um, let all the... Ooh, what? Let all the rich exes go. Fick fucking ex. Oh! Wow, okay, so this is let all the fucking exes go. Stop checking on them. Let all these exes go, stop checking on them. There's a piece of hair there, I don't know where it's from. Oh wow, you guys, that is super powerful. So you have the big message today that you need to hear is let all your effing exes go, all the past energies go and stop checking on them. So whether it's like you're spying on their social media, you're on their Instagram, you're spying on their new girlfriend's <laughs> stories, new boyfriend stories, um, it's time to let that go. Cause anytime you, um, spiritually energetically spy on someone you guys that's a cord we're all energy all of us every single one of us are just frequency and vibration and sound that's what we consist of so when you spy or go on a picket card on your ex or any of your exes it's like you reinitiate a damn new like um, connection with them and then it's harder to drop them so this is really a huge message saying stop checking on them now because you're starting to make a connection and hurting yourself. It's like you're putting yourself in the, your hand in the fire over and over and over again. Jumpy masks, like this is all about um, wearing, like on the outside you're laughing with people, you're key keying, you're having fun, you're at the party, you're drinking your champagne, you're dancing, but it's just like on the inside you're just like, I'm not very happy. Like masks, like, Lying to yourself, um, surrender, knowledge. The answers you need are coming. King of Cup. Death, if your life's purpose. So let's clarify these, you guys. Let's clarify these. Clarify the knowledge card. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's just like the answers are coming, you guys. Liberation, compassion. And let's clarify this King of Cups and the Death card. Okay, that's gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. So what I'm seeing is you actually have a lot of fucking guys around you that are really trying to um, date you. Look at this, we have the King of Cups and the present energy, baby. King of Cups, so you have someone that's definitely 
The romance angels are really trying to bless you with these new rushes of energies, these new higher frequency unions, these newer beautiful connections with super beautiful successful men that are on your scale. Like you're scaling up, you're evolving, you're shedding old shadow aspects, old paradigms. And as you do, it's like you're upgrading. So like the universe is really trying to bless you with this beautiful love. And this is why I love what I do because my channel is called beautiful love channel for a reason, but like the universe is really trying to bless you with this beautiful, gorgeous love. But it's just like, this guy has a really nice nose, by the way, a nice face. I like that. But, um, yeah, trying to bless you with this beautiful love, but it's like, you're not seeing it. You're still stuck in that past. You're still stuck in that kind of almost like a pest, like not having faith in the universe energy where you're just like, well, there's nobody out here for me anymore. I'm getting too fucking old. Um, I've been there, done that. I'm getting too old. So it's like, you're just giving up and you're going back to like old, you're checking up on old lovers. And no, we ain't going in the past. We're not going in that direction anymore. You have to have that abundant mindset. I'm good enough. I'm beautiful enough. I'm getting hotter and hotter, finer and finer, like fine wine, baby. I ain't even hit my peak yet. Like, baby, look at JLo. She's 55 years old and she still looks like 21 years old. So like, think optimistic. Remember, the longer you wait, the hotter you date. It's just the men get hotter and wiser. So like, you gotta have more of an abundance mindset because you're just like dragging the past into your future when Crater is really trying to bring in these be this beautiful, gorgeous, matte too. Like I'm seeing like a, a beautiful, emotional, gorgeous connection coming in, ready to sweep you off your feet, but it's like you're too concerned. And literally, brand new beginning in love, like, I can't make this up, these, these flew out. Brand new beginning in love, trying to fight to get your fucking attention, but you're over here. You're in the past. Your mind is like checking up on people from the past who have no fucking business taking up your beautiful mind. Because you gave them chances, those guys in the past. You threw them bones. You gave them chances. They always ghosted you, treated you like a doormat mat. Walked all over you. They do not deserve your heart. They do not deserve your beautiful, gorgeous strength or your energy. And it's like you keep bringing them in by like thinking that, oh, I can do God. It's like you don't have any more faith in God and God is match.com, baby. <laughs> like just God has an abundance of beautiful men that just would love to be married to you. You're, you're just like so gorgeous. And it's just like you just got to really surrender and have faith that God's going to provide you with the most beautiful love in the world. Because that's just how it is. You got to let go, let God. And that's when the love of your life just drops in. Already feel the feeling and vibration of having the love of your life. Make that room in your closet today. Get, get rid of everything. Half of things you don't use in your house. And just make room for him to put his Jordans or to put his work clothes um, to have his treadmill, whatever he does, like you really need to start accentuating the energy of my, my soulmates already with me. That is exactly what you need to do. My love, because you are worthy of a beautiful, brand new high frequency love. Someone who treats you like a queen because you are a queen and you just deserve to be treated like a queen instead of always putting your hand in the fire and going back, 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 back. And now we're going to get into some details of this person. Okay, we're gonna get and baby, you have so many options. <laughs> it's like with the seven of cups, you are you are like that. You're about that life. Like you have, you're attractive as that. So you have a lot of options. You're super gorgeous. You just need to really transform your thoughts. You need to let the old past die now. Like you, you need to start having that abundance mindset of there's abundance of soulmates in this world. There's abundance of partners for me that would love to marry me. There's an abundance of great, healthy connections of healthy, beautiful, emotionally available men that would love to marry me. I get asked out all the time from healthy, emotional, emotional, gorgeous men. So you really have to accentuate the feeling and the vibration of already having it. That is one thing the secret movie left out was the law of vibration, which is already feeling like you have it. And remember, the great paradox of life is not needing anything attracts everything. Okay, so remember that paradox is you act like you already have the love of your life. You get those feelings of love and you just feel that high money can't buy. Like that great paradox of life is not needing anything attracts everything. Okay, so yeah, you have a lot of options here, my love. Let's clarify. I want to clarify this over here. This is your life's purpose because there's another message over here in the corner. Do, do, do. God, please clarify this. Um, this is your life's purpose. 
knowledge, everything's going perfect. If you've had a question about career, because this is everything's going perfect, um, knowledge, and you want to get more skills to upgrade in your career, I'm just seeing that now is not the right time. I'm seeing that now is not the right time to... Um, now is not the right time to try um, razzle dazzle your existing career. If you're not happy in your career, what I'm seeing with this, this is your life's purpose. It's time for you to move out of, move out of any type of career that you're not happy in, and definitely seek um, a more rewarding career that makes your heart happy. Whether it's like age demographic. Whether it's like, if you don't like working with adults, that's not your age demographic because you might have so much fucking Leo in your chart. You love working with teenagers, then switch to teenagers. Or if you, you know that you hate dealing with jewelry, customizing jewelry, then go to beading, go to sewing. You really, instead of trying to settle for less in your existing career, you're really being called to explore your options and even like jump companies because it's going to make you happier. Cause I'm just seeing you keep trying to bring flowers to your career and make it way, you know, you're trying to bring all the magic and the razzle dazzle, trying to make your life happier in your existing job. But it's just like, what I'm seeing is and feeling is definitely just exploring your options and maybe even jumping careers would be best for you because I feel like you've already obtained as much knowledge as you possibly could in the existing career that you have and it's not like you've reached the peak of uh, knowledge in that career that you're specifically in if you were wondering oh i wonder if i should find a new company i wonder if i should find a new organization i wonder if this firm would pay me just as much um yeah a hundred percent a hundred percent um so understand going forward that anything that you start, you choose to do whether it's healing teaching justice um regulator, whatever, this new position that you're going to find, you're still gonna be doing your life purpose. Always attach yourself. If you need to attach yourself, I'm always about non-attachment. I don't label what I am, but if you do wanna attach yourself to a life purpose, then know that if you do switch careers, if you're planning and if you're sick of your current company, that your new company will definitely still serve your greatest and highest good. Like I said, whether it's like regulator, teacher, healer, but yeah, this is a really beautiful pile, you guys. Like, you honestly have a lot of transition you're gonna be going through here right away. It's like you, you're gonna be done lying to yourself and lying to yourself and saying, oh, I, there's a chance with one of my exes from the past. No, fuck no. You're gonna start facing yourself in the mirror with this mask card and you're gonna start looking forward to the abundance of your future because you have a lot to look forward in the future. Like your lover coming in, you guys could be business partners. You guys could be like, um, like you guys could open companies together. Like this person I already feels in your energetic field. So let's get some signs of this person. So Capricorn, what did I say? I just said business partners. So this guy can be very, very super rich and well off already and definitely see you as an investment. Just like Coco Chanel. Remember Coco Chanel? Every single guy she dated because she was like from nothing. She was from rags to riches and she used men. She used these men were married, but these um, aristocrats and they would actually they helped her with her business because back in the day, Coco Chanel wasn't allowed to deal with banks. Women were not allowed to deal with banks, so she had to use these millionaire men to like up her company. So the use the using was mutual though, so like whatever. Ninth house, so that's Sagittarius. So yeah, your person can definitely travel the world. Um, he could of uh, being real estate with this reputation. He's just a big deal. Your person's a big fucking deal. The guy eyeing you up. Check your inboxes. This is so funny because it happens. Like, all who's this lover in the future? A new love, you've just met him. What did I just say, you guys? What did I just say? There's somebody that you just met, but you're not like, or in your, just like your environment that's eyeing you up that really, really, really wants to take you out. So just even just go for lobster and steak. Like, I don't care if you're gonna have to wear your moo, -moo your motherfucking boo. I know y'all have that bougie ass sweats and hoodie set, okay? As long as your makeup and your hair is done, just go out. Who cares if you're wearing sweats and a hoodie? If your makeup and your hair is beautiful as fuck, then who cares if you're wearing sweats and a hoodie? Get the hell out of your house because you just keep looking in the past and it's not 
serving you anymore. You got to stop that. And you got to understand God is match.com. And there's a beautiful, gorgeous love right around the corner. I knew the fuck up. This king of cups, this guy who's going to wine dine 69 your ass. Who's a big deal. Who's hella rich. will probably pay for all y'all's vacations which that's how it's got to be okay so like yeah you got to give you got to start thinking more optimistic about the love life and your future and leave the fucking past in the past leave it there it's like you keep bringing it into your beautiful future life and we're not about it leave the past in the past you're not even the same person you were a month ago Okay? <laughs> All right, my beautiful baby. I love you so much. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Channel. Mm -hmm.